there and welcome to my studio. I am Stacy Spangler. I'm a mixed media artist and I'm going to share something with you that I do every year. Been doing it for several years um, and it is creating my scripture memory cards um, in mixed media format. So let's get started. I decided a few years ago that scripture memory was a big part of my spiritual growth. And um, as a visual learner, one way that came natural for me to memorize the scripture was to put them on index cards, um, but to also do a visual representation of the verse. Didn't even have to really go with the verse, but just having that visual element there really helped me see that verse in my mind and remember it. And so I have been doing this practice every year. Um, I always have people say, please share that with us. And so I thought there'd be no greater thing to be able to share with you this year. It's just kind of my process of how I create my cards. Um, I create one for every month and um, you can also use them for other things if you're an artist and you can make note cards out of them and print them. Um, you can scan them in um, and use them for you know, giving us gifts or giving us little reminders for your Bible study groups, however you want to use them. Um, but they're great to have. I have tons and tons of them. This is just one stack of my cards that I have with scripture on them. And so sometimes I do them in um, sets that make sense, that are all coordinated, and sometimes I just do them random. Um, we're going to work out a um, set. I'm going to take you through doing my set for this year, and it will be 12 cards. And so we'll kind of look at forming that set and picking out our scriptures. And so I'm so glad you're going to join me for this. We'll get started. Hey and welcome. So to get started, um, we are going to be making some scripture cards for the year. We're going to be making a set of 12. And the first thing I want you to think about is um, just kind of if you want to your cards to be um, cohesive and have a theme, kind of be a whole collection of cards. Um, as you can see here, a collection could be either with a theme, like maybe you want to do botanicals, or maybe you want to go with all birds. Uh, maybe there's birds, or maybe you want to just go with designs. Um, or maybe you want to do designs and it's more of a layout. Um, so there could be lots of ways that you could make these cohesive. Or maybe you just want to have them fun and be something, do something different, completely different, whatever inspires you by the verse each month. So. That is up to you. Um, I just always kind of decide in advance. It helps me to be consistent with creating my cards if I go ahead and create a background page. And that way I have something I can use and I kind of have set aside an idea in my mind um, of how I want to create these. So I think when I very first started making them, I just started doing fun designs like this. And you can see this is one of my favorite verses here. Genesis 127, which says, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created him. And I just love this because as creators, this just reminds us the value in creating. It reminds us that when we are creating, we are glorifying him because we're made in his image. And God was so creative, is so creative, and continues to create on into the future and into eternity. So that is something so good for us to remember. But um, I'm going to go ahead and show you um, 
you know, you can use, just kind of show you how I start out. It's kind of, my process has kind of evolved over, evolved over the years. I used to actually use index cards. Um, you can use the three by five or the four by six. Um, but I'm gonna be, go ahead and making some papers and cutting them into index card size format. So let's get started. First thing you're gonna need is um, some paper. I would recommend using a mixed media. I love the Canson um, mixed media pad, or you could do like a printmaking paper. Just something with a little bit heavier weight to it. You don't want it so thick um, that you can't, um, I don't know, I like to stitch on mine, so you don't want it too thick to where it can't go through the sewing machine. This is actually, let's see, a, I don't see, oh yeah, the 88 pound. And the Canson that I use is actually a 98 pound. So I wouldn't go any heavier than that on the paper, but I would do something that stands up to um, using glue and stitching and whatever elements you're gonna put on this. So I'm gonna start out just creating a background for, and do a couple different sheets because I usually like to do mine in the larger size. So you can see here that I can probably fit, um, let's see, how many can we do here? Well, probably just three per page. So if I wanna do 12 cards, I'm gonna need to do four pages um, for my background. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create a fun background. And I'll probably do this process in a couple different settings. Um, choose your favorite colors or maybe a color that goes with your theme. I am just using some acrylic paints. You can use um, craft paints, those will work fine for this. You can use watercolor paints if you want to, to for creating your backgrounds. I want you to use what you have on hand and not feel like you have to um, go out and invest in a bunch of different art supplies just to make scripture cards. That kind of defeats the point. So um, you use what you have. You could even do these on scrapbook paper. If you wanted to, if you're maybe not a painter and you wanna just create some cards, you can um, get your scrapbooking papers out and use those. And I'm just using an old key card, room card, and I'm just dragging this paint across the page for my first layer. And as a mixed media artist, if you wanna learn more um, and know more, as a mixed media artist, I'm always using all different kinds of things in my art, from paint to paint pens to pastels, um, ink pens, pencils, watercolors, stamps, ink, all kinds of things. So if you wanna know more about really creating fun painted papers. I do have a um, YouTube video on that. And so you can go check that out. But if you have watched me for any amount of time, you know that I really gravitate toward the pinks and the oranges. The warm colors are my favorite. And so you will see me using those a lot, but you use what feels good to you, okay? So I should have laid out my other pieces of paper because I do want these to be similar so they'll be kind of a cohesive group of papers. So I need to put out as I'm doing this, I would just lay out. We said we needed four sheets, so. I'm going to lay out some sheets here. One thing about these key cards is you'll kind of get a different design every time. And you don't have to make a huge mess because you can contain it just to your paper. And this little card, there's not a, not a, not a lot of cleanup. Out. 
you will find with the order of the colors does make a difference so these ones where I put this darker layer down first are probably gonna look a little different than um, the first one that I started with but that's okay they're gonna all have the same color regardless so that will kind of make them look more cohesive And the thing about um, the visuals on these memory cards is the visual helps me remember the words. I'm a visual learner, and so a lot of times if I have a visual, I can like picture it in my head. Whereas if I just saw the words on a page by themselves, I cannot do that. I have a very, very bad memory. I always have. It's always been hard for me to memorize things. Um, so when I was younger, I used to make up songs. I'm sure if you can relate, you can totally relate to what I'm saying, but I used to come up with all kinds of ways to um, you know, memorize how to spell words or the capitals to the cities. Um, I would draw out pictures to associate with the things. So um, really putting these verses um, on a card so that I can memorize them really helps me and I do this because God's words tells us that if we hide his word in our heart it helps us not to sin it really convicts us and teaches us and reminds us and that is huge for me because I'm really not always a very nice person okay so you can see the difference there with just putting this pink on top if we want to tone this down some we can come back and add some white but this is just the first layer so um, we will let's put a little white on top and just see if we can tone this one down I don't like them to be super busy at first like I said, you can always cover up, and we will cover up with more layers. You can see that white kind of tones down. But play around with that, and make you up some papers, and see which ones you like the best. You can't decide on colors, just experiment with playing with some different colors. And so I have my four pages. You can go ahead and go all the way off the edge if you want. And this is our first layer, so I'm gonna let these dry. This will be part one of our um, session here on YouTube. And we will be back where we complete another layer on another day. So thank you so much for joining me. Like I said, if you want to learn more about Painted Papers, I do have a video here on YouTube that's titled Painted Papers. You can watch that and get some more ideas. I will continue with my design in the next video. Um, also, if you would like to get more art content and not miss out on when I have free demos, be sure and subscribe to my Behind the Brush newsletter. It comes out twice a month on the 1st and the 15th and it usually has some great tips, product reviews. It kind of summarizes all the things I have available, the free resources for you, any videos I've put out or blog posts that I've made. Um, it gives um, first dibs to my in-person workshops and um, retreats. And then it also um, gives you special perks. So, um, I hope that you will join me with my newsletter, and I hope I see you back here to continue with our scripture cards. Thanks for joining me.